Have you ever played in a cup game where you've had moments like this? Welcome back to another Goalkeeper GoPro video. Today, we got quarterfinal action here. My first ever cup playoffs as a goalkeeper. Now, to give everybody a refresher who maybe hasn't seen my channel or watched my videos, this team we already played in our regular season game, and we ended up beating them 12-2, so we were very confident coming into this matchup. I went over to give my guys a pregame speech, which unfortunately I didn't get on video, even if I did. I don't think I'd be able to show it on YouTube. And now with the game officially underway, we spent a lot of this first five minutes of the game with a ball in our half. We definitely had a little shot shakiness and it was very sloppy to kick it off. For me personally, like so much of indoor has been my on ball distribution since my injuries have not been the greatest. And even this one, the throwing I also equate this to, to some nerves. This is the largest scale soccer game I've played in since I was probably about 13 years old. So it's kind of natural to be nervous. This right here is where you definitely felt a weight lifted off your shoulders. You got the first goal. The butterfly starts to slowly drift away as we got our first brace. Good step, Rod. Well, after those two saves is where my finger on my left hand was really hurting. I had picked up an index finger injury when I was playing in my Tuesday league and, and been trying to tough it out. But as soon as contact is made anywhere near the palm, it just sends a straight shooting pain. So I was able to recover. As I mentioned, we were struggling just kind of with the intensity and the pressure, especially that they were bringing out, even on the defensive end, uh, their press. I think we only had a few press that we actually ended up breaking, but it wasn't too long before they finally netted the first goal to tie at 1-1. After a disaster class, I was trying to showcase my throwing abilities, which is usually my best aspect of my game. My team was able to pick me up. We ended up netting a goal to make it 2-1. About the last three minutes of the first half, there wasn't a whole lot that went down. So going to the second half, we are up two to one and we start to play a lot better towards the end we had a lot more pressure on their end than they did on our end so let me give a breakdown of how they even scored this goal a guy went down injured i was looking over to the ref then i walked over to grab my water bottle i took the cap off i took a sip of it turned back to look at the ref with the bottle in my hand while the guy was still on the ground as i go to set it back down with my back still turned the whistle blows and then when i turn around i don't even have enough time to get my position set on the line before they just rocket the ball in Now at this point, I'm a little rattled because every single time that we have had this ref, we have always had issues in a game just like this on, on free kicks going fast, not giving everybody enough time, bad calls going our way. After that goal is where we really started to pick it up and we started to look like how we have all season long. And then this happened, which should have been such a clear and obvious red card. I, I don't know how it wasn't. I don't understand it. Somebody explain. Look at it in slow motion. 
That was Allen. He's one of our better defenders. The man didn't even really flinch. He did not go down from just getting a kick right to the head. Unfortunately, he did cut his eyebrow open and didn't come back into the game the rest of the time. But good update to report. He will be playing with us this Sunday. As the game was coming to a close, as I said, we started to pick up the momentum, and it was 6-2 at this point as we were able to bag one more to be able to close it out, and I almost got another assist. <laughs> Is how my cup quarterfinal comes to a close we take the victory 7-2 which means we get to play in the semifinals going down this sunday we play a team called inter and we have not played them at all in the 16 weeks that we have so it's going to be a fresh face can't sleep on them they beat a team that had beat us in the regular season and uh did it pretty handily too so very excited to play them for a spot in the finals and for a chance to win two thousand five hundred dollars make sure if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe comment down below and I'll see you all in the semifinals.